Well, let's help Hulk make a volcano today. Would you like to help Hulk? Hey, buddy! Put your left fist in! Ready? Here we go! Let's make sure you have your safety goggles on before we start. Dr. Hulk, ready to go! Let's help Hulk make a volcano. Here's all the supplies we need. Make sure you have a parent helping you at all times. These are all the things we'll be using. Baking soda. Citric acid. Or you could use vinegar or lemon juice. Anything that's acidic. We have some pigment. Which you could just use food coloring too. Some measuring spoons. Make sure you have a teaspoon. Some water. Something to mix it with. A measuring cup. And a beaker. Or you could just use a regular cup. You also need a base for the volcano. We're using this plastic base. Okay, first we're going to measure out 40 milliliters of water. We're going to add five drops of red, red pigment. We're going to mix that well. Now we're going to get a teaspoon one teaspoon of citric acid. We're going to pour that in the volcano base. Next we're going to take one teaspoon of baking soda. that in the volcano base too. Now we're going to pour the prepared red pigment water into the crater. See what happens. A volcanic eruption is when the Earth's interior is filled with hot magma and expanding bubbles. Under extreme pressure, the magma breaks through the crust from a weak point and gushes out, causing a volcanic eruption. The baking soda in the experiment is alkaline and the citric acid is acidic, and the two react to produce large amounts of gas and bubbles, giving off heat and producing the eruption. That was fun! Can we do it with two volcanoes now? Let's do it with two volcanoes now. Ooh, that was fun! Can we do another science experiment? Sure, Hulk, let's make artificial snow. What we need for this experiment is absorbent resin. Pigment, or food coloring. First, we're going to pour in 20 milliliters of water into two test tubes. Next we're going to add a few drops of pigment to each tube of oh, the two tubes that have water in them. Which 
chose yellow and blue. Okay, now we're gonna mix it up. To the other two tubes, we're gonna add one teaspoon of absorbent resin. one teaspoon to the other empty tube as well. Now we're going to pour the colored water to the powder tubes. As you can see, the resin is absorbing the liquid. Now we're going to pour the colored snow into the beaker. So this is super absorbent resin. It can absorb water equivalent to more than 100 times its own volume. They use this material inside diapers to absorb stuff. <laughs> Absorbs. Looks like snow. Wow, that's incredible! Just like me, the Incredible Hulk. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.